Today's gonna be a challenge because we're gonna try to go through this video without saying one dirty word because YouTube doesn't like any profanity. So we're gonna try to tickle YouTube's ball sack just a little bit so we can get some more views. So let's hop into this. So on today's episode of I don't know what I'm doing, we're gonna be putting in some injectors and a fuel rail. So I have injector dynamics, 1050X injectors. I'm, I'm doing the Donald Trump thing right now. I guess it's the red hat. But, so we're gonna be putting in 1050X injectors and a radium engineering fuel rail. So what we gotta do with that, you might ask, we gotta take this manifold off, which shouldn't be too hard. Take that fuel rail off, and since these are top feed injectors, got a top feed fuel rail, so we're just gonna be converting that to top feed. And um, yeah, then we can get into it. Do I smack the camera a lot, like to do transitions like, like that? Do I smack it a lot? Maybe we should try another one. So here's what we got. This is the radium engineering uh, fuel rail, super nice. Super expensive. Oh, it wasn't that expensive, but still. These are the injectors. These things are so pretty, dude. And it's not going to focus, probably not. But yeah, these are pretty sick, man. Pretty freaking sick, dude. And then, I don't know if we're going to need these spacers or not. Well, there's some mounting... Uh, ooh, almost said a dirty word, boys. There's some mounting stuff in here. And their spacers. I actually kind of want to run the spacers because they look kind of cool. So we'll see. Oh, I also have a. What do I have? I forgot the name of it, but it is a fuel pressure regulator. We're gonna hop, skip, and a jump around, and then we're gonna take this off, like I previously said. And uh, let's do that now. All right, so after removing that, we have our fuel rail right here. So we're gonna take this little thing off and see what we gotta do to convert this because I have no idea, but we're gonna find out. So here's the old fuel rail right there. There's the old girl right there. And then this hose came off of the thing attached to this. Which I think it's just a little tiny fuel filter, but I don't know. Uh, those are the spacers that were already in there. So this thing, I have no idea what this thing right here is. It had that little piece I just showed you on there. Looks like it could be a filter. Maybe it's a pressure regulator. And the pressure regulator hooked up on the rail right here. So, who knows, man. Yeah. So, I'm probably going to clean this up a little bit. Maybe I'll give you a time lapse. Maybe I won't. And uh, then we'll get into putting the rail in. Why? So, one thing that I do a lot that I probably shouldn't be doing, so I use my Lexus for a workbench. And I end up just messing it, it all up. Like this trunk is screwed. Well, the whole, the whole car itself is actually kind of screwed. The paint's trash, so it's not that big of a deal. But I should actually just be using the 240 because 
We're actually going to do work to that. I'm probably not going to do work to this, at least for a while. So, anyways, we got these on. Hopefully, they're positioned right because I tightened them down. And I don't really feel like tightening them down again. Boop, 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 Skills. Skills. Gangstar so, dueling again. Let's see. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure. I don't think that. I don't think that's right. Huh. Let me test this out and then I'll get back to you guys. Alright, <clears throat> so here's where I'm at. Got these injectors in. Uh, took the spacers from the original rail right there. And um, one thing I'm having a problem with. Let me see if I can get this. So, hold on, I'm going to put this down real quick. Here's the issue. Um, the spacer, right there, obviously isn't making it here, which it should be. So I don't know, I think I might need some bigger spacers, I'm not really sure, but yeah, that's, that's where I'm at right now, so I might not be able to do this today. Alright, so I found out what the issue was with the uh, injectors and the fuel rail, apparently that fuel rail only or the highest like or the tallest uh injectors it can run are 48 millimeter the injectors i had are 60 millimeter that was the issue that's why i couldn't bolt it up um on there i mean i probably could have got another like an extra spacer or whatever but uh I don't want to jank it up. So what I actually ended up doing was removing the top hats from the injectors. So the top hats are those pretty pieces that I wish I didn't have to get rid of. But here are the top hats right here. They just pop off and then you got the clip right there. It takes them off. So now these are pretty much, uh, I don't know what millimeter, injectors they'd be considered now I forgot but I put the shorter um, spacer on it if it'll focus which you know it won't so I got the shorter spacer on it so these should fit right in I should be able to plug it up and everything so I'm gonna go ahead and try that out real quick and uh, see if it works success so that worked looking good now everything lines up perfectly the injectors are obviously sitting in there good I think I called these the spacers earlier these are not the spacers these are adapters to fit these injectors in here uh, these are the spacers well these are the spacers that come with the Jay-Z and then you put the spacer on here and the spacer and you're good to go but there, they're all uh, they're all in there. So these are 1050x injectors on the Radium Auto uh, or the Radium Engineering uh, fuel rail, and that's looking tight. So right here, I have a 6AN. This is going to be my return fuel return line on the opposite end down there. I have a 8AN, which is going to be my feed line. So this one's going to run to the uh, fuel pressure regulator and then from the fuel pressure regulator there's going to be a return line to the fuel cell
Okay, so I'm already noticing there's going to be a problem with uh, this hook and the injectors. I don't know if you can see, but the nut is right on the edge of the injector, so I'm not going to be able to get a uh, clip on there or a pigtail. So I'm going to have to take this, uh, this hook off. All right, so we got everything back on. Uh, dude, this intake manifold used to be so fresh and so clean, and now it's just... I don't know if it's the light. Well, I mean, there's chips in it, but I don't know if it's the light, but it looks a little yellow and stuff like that, so... It's, it's, it's taking a beating. But, um, we got it in. It was actually not that bad. Just had to, um, remove the, uh... A little hook back there yeah we're just gonna put the fuel pressure regulator on now and then uh, it's gonna be sick so this is what I'm gonna use as a bracket to mount this fuel pressure regulator uh, which I'm gonna be mounting it over here probably just off one of these uh, these holes uh, it's already got a hole drilled in it right there that I can mount it to so I'm just gonna Cut it right here, uh, and then cut a little down here too, and then just put it on there and bend it back, and it should hold our fuel pressure regulator pretty well, and then I'll probably scuff it up a little and paint it so it doesn't just look like that in the end of the day. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so here's the little bracket I made, but um, turns out it's a little too flimsy. So it's not really going to work. The fuel pressure regulator was like vibrating or whatever. If you just like touched it, it would like go back and forth. So that's going to be no good. So what I actually decided to do was just mount it here. So that's where I got it. Dang, there's no light. Hold on. Give me one second, boys. Yo, this place is dirty. I gotta clean this up. So here's where the fuel pressure regulator is. So it actually sits in there quite well. It's only on one uh, bolt right now, but it's really sturdy. So that should be good, because there's only one mounting point for me right here. There wasn't anything, and I'm not gonna drill in there and tap it, because that's just not gonna happen. But yeah, so next thing I gotta do is just run the lines. Just probably pull a 90 off of here, run it through here. I'm gonna run another fuel line down here. So the return line coming down from right here. And that's just gonna go back to the fuel cell. All right, so I got my line made and I'm just gonna put it in real quick. And this is just, uh, this is from the rail to the fuel pressure regulator. I have a 180 degree bend coming off of it and then a 90 degree on the other end. I'm not going to hook up the return line today because I haven't even gotten the fuel cell mounted. I'm going to fish it through. Hopefully my length is right. I measured it about three times. Cut it. Still ended up too long. So trimmed it out a little bit. And hopefully this lines up pretty well. So this one is being a twat. All right, so we got the 90 degree going, or the 180 right there, off the front part of the fuel rail. And it comes down, you can see the A-in line in there coming around, and it just comes out of that, those runners right there. And then right up out of here into there. So that's pretty clean, right? 